What's good people? Welcome back to the video. Today we have a big one. We have some new Kanye. He actually dropped when he said he was gonna drop. We have Kanye West and Travis Scott, Wash Us In The Blood. This release date just went completely over my head. I only realized it like an hour ago or something. So I'm super hyped for this man. New Kanye at any point in time is great. Also with the Travis feature as well, this is gonna be nuts. Friend of mine, Ben, who's also over the platform, he's a huge Ye fan and he said this is a madness, supposedly. So I've decided to trust his judgment and uh, we're gonna jump straight into it. I'm fucking hyped for this man. Let's do it. Walketh about seeking whom he may devour. Money J, please tell me, yep. Back so the little little boom, way, what's up, boom? Take so rain, no song, rain on one one. Rain come, rain come, come shine, come rain, come on. South side, let it bang. Outside, let it rain. Rain down on the pain. Rain down on the slain. Rain down for my mom. Rain down on the farm. Shower us with your love. Wash us in the blood. Drop this for the thug. No one opposes it. No one's about to drop. The, the top is not enough. Wash us in the blood. Is there anybody here? Uh, is there anybody here? Oh, okay, that can fucking no hell. How much you play? Hey. Okay, what the fuck's going on here then? Jesus, man, this is dark. My channel is following a certain trend. This is very dark already at the beginning. Talking about the lion walking around, devouring. Weird shit going on in the production. Yay, spitting as well, some nice little rhyme schemes. Fucking hell, dude, this beat is ridiculous. Don't know why I expected anything less, but still. Fucking hell. Okay, let's keep going. It was the blood that cleansed me. It was the blood. Chow down on us. Wash us in the blood. Wash us in the blood. Whole life being thugs. Selling drugs, south side what it does, rain down on us, genocide what it does, slavery what it does, rain down on us, whole life selling drugs. Trying to work out the meaning of this track so far. I'm not really sure what's going on. It's all slightly unclear if I'm honest. The track is hard. I'm gonna keep listening out. I'm just like over the moon to hear Kanye, especially this version of Kanye. As you may know, there's multiple versions of Kanye, and this is what I'm definitely here for. Uh, let's keep going. Wash us in the blood. Wash us in your blood. Wash us in the blood. Wash us in the blood. Wash us in the blood. Holy Spirit, come down. Holy Spirit, come down. Holy Spirit, help now. Holy Spirit, help now. Holy Spirit, come down. Holy Spirit, come down. Holy Spirit, help now. Holy Spirit, help now. Wash us in the blood. Whole life being thugs. No choice selling drugs. Genocide with it. Set it off, execution 30 states, 30 states still execute. I should not kill, I should not spill. Next tales at the rendezvous. We there's been a good few tracks now that Kanye and Travis have had together that have always worked. I think it's quite like an underrated sort of partnership in a way. I love that Kanye's come back with a new track and it does feature Travis as well. Travis has obviously been killing it at the moment. Yeah, mate, this is just this just sounds sick, man. Travis's verse is sick. I'm still really unaware. I mean, I'm understanding what Kanye's saying. Uh, I just want to know the bigger picture. I'm sort of getting the gist that he's talking about what's going on in America at the moment. And I think that was bound to happen. The majority of artists are bringing out new tracks at the moment. It is battling that issue. And I feel like Kanye, without a doubt, is going to come at this issue head on. I'm just... I don't know. I'm just not quite catching on to what's going on, to be honest. It's so hectic. And this... Uh, the production is insane, man. If you know me by now on this channel, you know I'm like nuts for production and this just sounds sick. Like this is, this is a madness. Time in the federal. Squad box you in like a section. You walk through the blast in the residue. Now look what we headed to. Rain down on us. Rain down on us. Wash us in the blood. Wash us in the blood. Holy Spirit, calm down. Holy Spirit, calm down. And they trying to control, yeah. They want me to calm down. They don't want me to Kanye. They don't want Kanye to be Kanye. They want to sign a fake Kanye. They trying to sign a calm Ye. That's right. I they don't want Kanye. They want to sign a calm Ye. Nice. I like that. That rhyme scheme is dope. I loved his wordplay just then. Calm Ye. But don't take me the wrong way. But don't mm. take me the wrong way. Because God took me a long way. They want to edit the interviews. They want to take it to interludes. Cut mm. a whole sentence to interludes. You know that it's fake if it's in the news. So I let it fly when I'm in the booth. The devil alive. Just touch on editing interviews 
a lot of his stuff, I mean, sometimes he does say some fucking insane shit, but a lot of it is manipulated. I don't want to sound like that guy, and obviously, it's your opinion, but a lot of the stuff that just get put up, just these, like, 20-second clips, a lot of the time are taken out of context completely. Obviously, I don't agree with some of the shit he has come out with. Uh, whether you can cut that or not, I feel like he was definitely ill-informed to an extent. I don't feel like I have to necessarily go over, but I presume you guys know what I mean. I feel like that was generally just a bit stupid, but there's, there's a bunch of other stuff that he generally does get ripped apart on that isn't necessarily what it seems it's very easy for people to just jump on the bandwagon as i'm sure you will know also anyway enough uh, enough serious talk let's uh, let's keep going Watch us in the blood whole life being thugs no choice selling drugs genocide what it does slavery what it does mm. very interesting how uh i presume the fact that slavery is what it does was the last lyric of the track that definitely means something. Definitely means something. Anyway guys, that was Kanye West featuring Travis Scott washing the blood. Wow, uh, interesting. Definitely interesting. Fantastic track. Uh, again, I'll bring it up again. I was chatting to my guy Ben today and uh, he actually said that if this is gonna be the whole album, it's gonna be insane and I completely agree. Uh, this was nuts, man. This was nuts. The production was crazy. Old yay man, uh, just his rhymes, you know, the way he was going about it, he's very braggadocious. I know he's very braggadocious anyway, but I just felt sort of a bit of a fire in his belly that I haven't necessarily felt for a while. I'm then bringing Travis on it as well. Travis had a solid verse, nothing too memorable. Still definitely a worthy feature for this track. I feel like with or without Travis, this still would have hit though, in my personal opinion. Again, I keep saying it, but his production was insane. That was just such a sick beat and the way it just kept dropping. All the samples he was using as well. I'm not gonna pretend like I know who that was in the samples, but the samples were dope. Man, just hearing Ye, dude. That Kanye, they want a fake Kanye. They want the calm Ye. That shit was hard. Interesting. Someone give me a bit more context on the track in general, please do in the comments below uh, because it seems like a lot of it's just gone over my head completely. I get the rough idea of what's going on, but that'll be very helpful. Anyway, guys, we're going to finish it up here. Uh, if you like the video, drop a like. If you enjoy reaction enough to the point where you want to see me again, then please do drop a sub. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram in the description below. If you have any requests, chuck them in the comments below. Uh, I've been Charlie, and I will see you in the next one.